Hey guys, it's Cookie 3 and welcome to part 17 of this off. No, part 17 of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. In the last part, I showed you where to get some blue ghosts and some cheese with gold mice attached to them. Um, and in this part, we're going to stop the blackout, basically. Um, yeah, it's a shame we couldn't find all of the monies or whatever, but... Piss off. Good sir. I do not wish to entertain. What's that? Hmm. Oh, phone's going crazy. Hello? Hello? M may I ask who's speaking, please? It's Bowser! <laughs> well, we scared him. Um. Okay, let's answer this phone then. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? May I ask who's speaking, please? L Luigi? Oh! <gasps> It's me, Toad! I don't know I, I don't know what I would have done if a ghost had answered. Anyway, we have a terrible problem. The lightning caused a blackout all over the house. What should we do? We're really, really afraid of the dark. Isn't there a way you can turn the lights back on? Hmm? No, we don't know how to turn them on. We were hoping you'd know. <laughs> oh, oh, me. But, but now that I think about it, I do remember seeing a large breaker switch somewhere in the basement. Hmm. Has your voice changed, Toad? Most certainly. Hello! This better not be Toad again. Hello? Howdy, hello? Oh, sorry to surprise you, boy. It's me, Professor Egad. Sorry for disturbing you. You know I usually contact you by Game Boy Horror, but I thought I'd try this phone since you are in the room. You know that all the ghosts avoid the light and hide in the dark? But listen now, there's one... ...in the darkest places. His name is Uncle Grimly. If you're wondering why I said uh-oh, it's because the video recording thing froze for a second there. Not exactly what I want. Um, Yeah, his name is Uncle Grimly. If he's on the loose, then now we're your only chance to get him. Why don't you try looking for him before you get those lights back on? It might be wise. He's old for a ghost, but it's only made him more cautious. I do know, though, that he, for some reason he tends to prefer rooms with mirrors. Uh oh the ghosts are starting to approach your position. Be careful, Luigi. Well, poop. I eat you. I eat you and your family. Except maybe not your family. Unless this guy's your family, in which case I certainly eat him. Though it doesn't do, I don't exactly expect that you'd be his family because you're completely different types of ghost. Hmm. Anyways, let's eat this guy. Come on, come on. Ray! Right. Let's try knocking on this table. Um, yeah, I'm very sorry about not being able to find all the blue ghosts, but hey, that's not my fault. Well, it probably is, but... It said on the. It never said anything in the things about having to do them before, the um, before the blackout. So you know, um, so I just thought it would be okay to do it after the blackout, but no. Um, but you know, to be fair, we still got lots of money, so I don't think we're going to be in any real trouble. To be fair, oh, the doors are already unlocked. Damn. Sorry, I thought. Oh well, they could have told me somehow, or something. You know, done a little chime or. You know, got a strange little man to run up to me and go, Hey, look, the lights are not a See if they could. Or something. You know, as they generally do in games. Send a random little short man after you to randomly yell at you about what you should be doing right now. It worked in a lot of RPGs. Man, that was, I was lucky to get through that without taking any damage whatsoever. Anyways, stop bowling at me! Damn ghosts think they rule the place just because they're in the dark and Luigi's scared of the dark and ghosts so they can obviously rule him because he's too afraid to do anything about it, quite frankly. <sighs> but I digress. Who are you? I don't want you in my house, good sir. Damn. Yeah, it doesn't look like mouse back, which is a shame because I think it's the only mouse I missed. Um... Speaking of which, yeah, thanks to Edward 18517 for telling me about cheese in the first place. I actually never knew about it. Um, but now I do, so that's great. Um, speaking of which, that's a shout out. In a sense, he's just finished Resident Evil, so I actually already told you that in the end version, didn't I? But um, Apollo Nought and Mr. Anonymous um, are currently doing a Let's Play of New Super Mario Bros. So that's going to be a lot of hilarious jokes, which no one understands. Um, but yeah, no, nothing wrong with. Um, yeah, there is actually like I think there are two more blue locations which we haven't actually found yet. 
so that's cool. Um, and then there's also one I didn't show on the video, but actually I might have shown it on the video, I don't know. I doubt it though, because I don't have the video raw video file anymore. Anyways, this is where we have to go to find Uncle Grimly! But yeah, um, the other blue ghost that you can find is actually in there, but I think we found him in the playthrough. Uh. Yeah, basically, um, you have to be careful with this guy, so that he's not, you know, ter Nobody will find me because I'm old, cranky, and by gum people are afraid of me! Mm, you say that. Anyways, you just have to wait around here, wait for him to just randomly be standing there, and then every once in a while he chose his heart! But he f I failed to do it that time. We'll get him on the rebound. Don't you worry, my friends, we'll get this grimly man. Shouldn't you? Aha! I really hate those awkward bits, like right at the start, if Luigi like completely fails to start attacking them. It just annoys me. Well, that was bloody easy. I'm serious. That guy put up less of a fight than Madame Flickering Clairvoyer. Seriously, and she's put up the least of all. Except for him now, because, you know, he sucks. I mean, I swear, even Neville, the first ghost you ever find, had more of a fight than that guy. Anyways, yeah, that's where the circle... So now we can turn the lights back on. But, um, wow, just look at all that. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to show you a few people that I failed to do so recently. Freaky fortune teller Madame Clairvoyer. Her close connection to the spirit world lets us see nearly 49 days into the future. Nice. Um, must be good for winning the lottery then. Although, eh, sorry. Although as a ghost, you likely can't do anything with it. Um, not. I didn't press anything to make you stop. Maybe the ghosts did. Yeah, I've already looked at you. Uh, Bulossus. Jumbo ghost Bulossus. When the shy, timid booze get in their attitude, get. <laughs> Woo! Hermit of the darkness. Forty-five years old. Ah! Sorry. Ah! I'm really getting pissed off with the microphone. And why isn't it warping me? Back in my day, we could look at a mirror and we wouldn't need to worry about getting warped, no. We just expected it and all was well. So yeah, um... I did this part at the same time as recording all of the blue ghost locations, because if you couldn't tell, um, Toad disappears um, during the blackouts, because obviously they're scared of the dark. So... Now we can go down here. Woohoo! Over there is the circuit breaker. And we just. Gitcha! Woohoo! And now all the power's back on. Woohoo! And there's Boo in here! I shall find it. I remember this guy. He's called Booby Hatch. Like an insane asylum, I believe. Maybe we have to vacuum the barrels. Ah! I'm Booby Hatch! I'm nuts! See? No, 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 I don't like you, booby Hatch. You have a memorable name, but you do not lend yourself to being easy to catch. No, you do not, good sir. But now we can go into the room over there, um, which I believe actually contains another blue ghost for us. I knew it. Mwah! I got him. I got another blue ghost. I got another blue ghost. He's the blue ghost that I caught, and so he's dead now. And this guy is a bitch, so I'll kill him now, even though he's already dead, because he's a ghost. Yes, he's a ghost. Unless he was born as a ghost, in which case he wouldn't need to die to be a ghost. But it might help the situation if he would. So, anyways, I'm done. I hope you enjoy my musical renditions of what I'm playing at the moment. Um... Music completely composed by me, except for the times when Beethoven writes it, which is very rarely. In fact, practically never. In fact, when I say practically, I mean literally never. So, yeah. Sorry for that to be a way for you to get the audio back, but, uh, yeah, you can guess why I was screaming in anger. Oh! I didn't even know there was something there! Um, I wasn't paying much attention because I was just randomly yelling about how unfair it all is. And for some reason we can go onto the ceiling. But I don't quite know why. Well, that means the boo in here has moved. 
No! Mario! Hmm. Where is he? I'll find you, Boo Man. I will find you. Oh! Did easy. Now we go down here again. Come on. Okay, you must be in the barrel. It is I, Febrides! I'm sure it is. Now get back here before you go in there. I'm gonna kill you. No! No, you dirty man! I don't like you. Get back here. Go back in that room. No, don't go to the left. Go to the right. Yes, thank you. We can't actually go into the left for like ages. So it's good that he went back in here because he's stupid. Nah. Now I can eat you, please. No, 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 no. Mr. Barupides, that is not what I want. No, 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 no. Phew. Right. I should have him got here. And I'm out of time. Goodbye.